Hello guys, welcome to another time out with me on Alec G TV. My name is Alec Godwin and today we are looking at Tilter. Yes, the VMAT battery solution for the Black Magic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K and 6K. And if you are like me, who bought this stuff uh, thinking that it would be that convenient, um, but it wasn't. It's a good idea, it's a creative idea, but we still need them. Um, it was still clumsy, a bit clumsy to work with, but however, sometimes it can be handy. But the greatest um, limitations of it was the fact that they made these um, rails shorter. The main reason why I got this this uh, device was that I thought it would also, you know, fit into a 15 millimeter rod system. So I felt like I also have a, a battery power there, like a, you know, VMAT plate as well that can be universal. But I was so wrong. And um, one thing I love about it is the fact that it has this uh, two power points to the top and along with the one from the battery itself making three. It also has uh, some extra power like uh, 8 volt for smaller cameras, I think uh, 6 to 8 volts for smaller cameras and uh, yeah. So but when I got this device and I tried to put it on the, on the rails, no way it didn't go. That's when my disappointment started kicking in and then um, left with the experience wasn't all that fantastic, um, especially with bigger V-mount batteries. Um, it tends to be heavy and clunky. So it wasn't a pleasant experience as I thought. Yeah, I used it, you know, pretty much only one time like this on a shoot and um, I never was looking forward to it again. I also used it in a 15 millimeter rig system and um, by using it with one of the rails uh, as demonstrated by uh, someone on YouTube uh, but that wasn't an effective system you didn't want your you don't want your rig to be you know shaking around so I thought about this way and um, this is what you will need to make this mod a success This is all you need from the two. So um, the other you keep is the, it's a cheese plate. You might need it if you want to, but you, you can do it directly. I decided to do it directly, and uh, but I had to do it sideways because there wasn't any other um, point, uh, mounting point that looked right to hold a unit like this. So yeah, sideways was the best option for me. And that way, um turned out that you know it worked out really fine in my opinion um i'm, I'm quite cool with this so pretty much now i can use it on any cameras um this is i'm mounting it with the sony fs5 mark ii right now and um i can use for the i can use it for the black magic for the Sony or any camera that I so desire. Now the mounting uh, 50 millimeter rock system is changed, so I have no more problem. All of a sudden, this unit is now such a big deal. And this can also swing, so in a way, I can swing it because of the choice I made from Canvas. Um, yeah, it, it swings. So and it's sturdy. You see, the, that's a very that's a heavy um, VMAT battery, and I can swing it on it. You know, and it will stay clear. So I can, if I decide to use the camera battery in there, I can put that in as well. Um, yeah, so pretty much you can make the connection there now and uh, it's just so convenient right now. I think the weight balance is there and this is the final look from the whole thing. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned one thing. 
like if you like this video and uh, go ahead and comment share your own thoughts and opinion um you spend an extra 40 something dollars um just to make it work because that thing is the powerful unit if the rails can go into your uh, 15 millimeter rod so take that off and you'll enjoy your system that's all i got for you guys thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye